Hello and welcome to another episode of MoFit and today I'm going to share with you about uh, gym equipments that I use for my training alright so we're going to cover a little bit from uh, shoes to my uh, well, aka your footwear from all the ways to your wrist wraps or you know to your knee sleeves and so on and so forth so I'm going to cover a bit by bit here so uh, hopefully that helps you a little bit alright and the disclaimer that uh, all these brands that I'll show you is not are not endorsed by any of this brand or there's no reason why uh, you should only pick this brand. These are just my personal uh, preference of the items and the company didn't pay me. This is my personal opinion. And uh, the two is disclaimer is that understand that all these things I'm not forcing you to buy it. If you want to get it to sort of improve your lips by ten or twenty percent. Why not? Okay, if you do not want to, so that is cool. So there's no forcing here. I'll just share with you some of the equipment, all right? Or maybe this is another episode of like what's in my bag, all right? So the first thing I want to show you is well, this is a regular trainer's shoe, all right? So this is a um, Adidas shoe, all right? And uh, I use this to do my usually my cardio or just for you know uh, for any outdoor activities or even I wear it sometimes for outing only okay so this shoe is good because it's sort of like for anyone because it's like multi-purposes you can do a lot of things uh, it's also very comfortable at the bottom and uh, but there's one small little drawback the drawback is that uh, when you want to do your weight training yeah it is much preferably to be on a harder surface so uh, to put it example for example you have to squat right you have to squat on a cushion versus squatting on a cement floor which one you think is easier to squat well probably it's a cement floor so this is a slight disadvantage of this but the good is that everything it can help you a little bit and it's so more comfortable all right so this is my uh personally my medium shoe if you will why I call it medium because this is my sort of my real true multi-purpose shoe. So for example, if I want to go to a gym, I uh, just want to hit some you know some dumbbell works or some barbell exercises. This is sort of my medium, my go-to places. All right. Why I like this shoe because uh, by the way, this one in case you're wondering, it's like a Converse or a Chuck Taylor's kind of uh, style. So you have those are shoes or even Wens. Those are going to do you some good. The reason why I like this number one, it has a flat sole. So remember I told you just now about the cushion versus a uh, hard floor. This one is going to do you a lot of good. Number two. Uh, it's also cheaper now if you think about it sports shoes today is going to cost you like i get this actually for 150 130 ringgit all right and this one i only got it for like 70 ringgit so uh yeah i got it at those um your your, your sports shops so okay so nothing fancy but it just do the trick for you so personally once again uh, if you see me majority of the time probably i'll be wearing shoes like this because in fact uh, i don't need to run Right. This issue has a disadvantage is that if you want to run, you're going to have a hard time. You know? I think if you wear a Converse and run before, probably it might tell. But because most of my sports uh, don't require me to do a lot of running or jumping or anything, so this probably basically do me some good. Especially if I'm doing some stationary work, like for example, on a squat or a deadlift, you know, some stationary, just stand on the floor or leg press. Uh, I like this shoe a lot because it gives me a solid stable. It doesn't give me like very squishy kind of uh, situation and gives me in control. All right, that's about it. One exclusive shoe, alright, that uh, I like to use this one. This one I only use it personally to squat or at most to bench press. To give me a bit of elevation. So, ta-da, this you go. This is a uh, Adidas Powerlift 2.0 shoe, alright. So, this shoe, right, what does it does for me? So, usually the shoe, if you put our feet in, you'll be like this, right? So, with the elevated heel here, instead of this, you'll be like this. Now, if you were to do like this, it'll be easier for you. Uh, it, especially if you have poor ankle mobility, like me so probably this is going to help you so why uh why using a higher heel right because this one keeps you more comfortable and also it sort of doesn't require so much of an anchor mobility and also one thing i love about this shoe it has a hard sole shoe as well very very solid okay and it's not very uh it's not very like squishy is uh, good enough to be flat and hard so these are the shoes that i look for but this shoe has a bit of drawback number one uh, think of it like a bowling shoe. Bowling shoe only lets you to, well, bowling, right? So this is like this. The advantage is that it allows you to do a squat um, in, in a more upright position and it's give, give you a bit more efficient, if not sometimes a stronger position as well. So uh, this shoe, it gives you very good squat. But the disadvantage, it only helps you on the squat. And uh, another disadvantage of this, or at least in the market in Malaysia, is quite limited and it's hard to find and it's quite costly also. This shoe, uh, I bought it for I think 450 ringgit, if memory serves me right. This shoe has been serving me for around um, 6 to 7 months already. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, 
Only good is that it gives you to squat more upright, more powerful position. The disadvantage, well, only that one. Kind of like a bowling shoe, if you will. Alright? So now that we talk about the shoe, the next thing I want to talk about is a belt. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Okay. So personally, I like to use this uh, belt. This is a weightlifting belt. Okay. Uh, to much people, uh, there's a myth. Uh, even in the past, I used to think that when you wear the belt, it saves your lower back. Or people say, ah, oh, it prevents me from back pain. Actually, it's not. The reason why it sort of gives you to prevent back pain is because when you put the belt so hard, it keeps your whole torso tightened. When it keeps your whole torso tightened, then you are, when you lift heavy objects, you won't be moving or wiggling around. Right? Think of like empty can. If your empty can has a lot of air inside, it's airtight, you can't scratch the can, right? But if you have a um, like can, but there is no air inside, what's going to happen? Well, you can just crush the can easily. So it's like our body. Uh, this is why, uh, basically, it's giving you like uh, another pair of apps or the buzzword, if you like to know, is called intra-abdominal pressure. Okay, giving you a stronger core and to prevent you from injury, like the can example I showed you just now. Okay, so most people in the gym, they wear also the belt. You see weightlifting belts. You see um, your Velcro belts. Velcro belts is the one where, you know, you put and they can open. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, it's called Velcro belt. But for me, personally, I like to use this stiff leather belt. This is a single prong belt. In other words, uh, prong means this, uh, just a single one, right? So uh, I like this belt because this belt is solid and uh, it's been serving me for, I think it's going to be close to a year. Yeah, by the end of this is going to serve me for a year. And uh, man, this is one of the best buy I ever get. Uh, yes, it's a bit expensive. Uh, I think I uh, will ship it from online. I think it cost me around 400 ringgit. But uh, yes, it's huge investment. But personally, I like it because it helped me a lot. It keeps that intra abdominal pressure. And uh, also, I like this also because it's also very thick and tough. It's 10 millimeters thick compared to a regular uh, Velcro belt. It's a bit flimsy and a bit wobbly, so to speak. Okay? So another equipment that I want to share with you all is called a uh, wrist wrap. Okay? So what is a wrist wrap? Uh? So let's just put this hand, right? So if you have a strong wrist, right? Your wrist will be tight when you're holding a heavy object. Think of like when you bench press, it's going to keep you very strong, very rigid. If you have a very loose wrist, it's going to become, you know, like very shaky, very wobbly. So a wrist wrap sort of prevents you from doing this, the, the wiggling part. It keeps you strong and strengthen your grip, if you will. So wrist wraps, when you wear it, it really looks something like this, okay? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this one I get it the SBD. Uh, this is a bit higher end one. Uh, but if you go to any commercial gym, I think 40, 50 ringgit can get one good one. I uh, invested this uh, for me personally because for future purposes and uh, it's quite stiff and hard. So as you can see, see the difference? You notice that my right arm is moving a lot, whereas my left is a bit tight and rigid. So that's what this wrap sort of uh, helps you to do. It just gives you a stronger, uh, just prevents you from moving a lot. And also uh, sometimes if you have wrist pain, uh, this might be able to do help you a little bit. For example, some people when they squat and they place themselves in the bar, they have a bit of wrist pain. Probably having a wrist wrap might do you some good. Uh, or your bench press, sometimes you have wrist, wrist pain, maybe this will help you, prevent you to be very wobbly. Okay? Next equipment I want to share with you is the straps. Okay? So this is a um, Harbinger straps. Okay? This costs around 60 or 70 ringgit around there. So, uh, what does this do, right? It sort of gives you a, uh, a stronger grip. So example, sometimes you do a deadlift or if you are trying to do a pull-up, if grip is an issue, probably um, having a strap like this might do you some good. So uh, what you do is you wear it in, okay? And then you say this is the bar, right? You wrap around the bar. And then as you wrap around the bar, you hold it. So yeah, it gives you the... Uh, it's like giving you another pair of uh, palm if you will. It's just to lift up the thing. So you're having grip issue. This is probably, probably very, very handy for you. Uh, personally, I don't use this a lot. I only use it for one exercise it's called Romanian deadlift because I don't want the, stri the my strap or my, my grip to take most of the exercise. When my exercise, that one is primarily on my hamstrings, if you will, okay? The last item I'm going to show you is called a knee sleeve. So what does the knee sleeve does? Well, if you have seen in the maybe some the elder elderly or people with badminton, right? Sometimes they're going to wear like some layer or something like this. So they wear around. So imagine this is my leg on the knee. So imagine they will go around like this. Yeah. So this is to prevent uh, to prevent any uh, knee sort of injury and also keep you in a more 
heated position if you will give you a bit more uh, keeps your knee joint warm so that uh, you prevent you from further injuries now think about this way uh, if you do a warm-up then if you do an exercise straight away without warming up what's gonna happen injuries will happen something like this so this one keeps your joint warm and uh, yeah and uh, it also prevents you from uh, further injuries and uh, personally I like to use this uh, occasionally if I were to squat uh, on my heavy days if not I wouldn't even wear this okay so um, there you go well, uh, another equipment that I want to show you well not technically equipment is actually a chalk so this is not cocaine all right so what does this chalk do so remember just now we talked about the wrist wraps right when your straps or when your grip is an issue the chalk probably can also help you but before that I always check if your gym allows you to have chalk no? but with today's world uh, more and more gyms are accepting chalk shouldn't be any issues but uh, what does chalk do right the chalk gives you another it just prevent you uh, gives you a bit more friction if you will and also it sort of yeah, if you you know sometimes when you have a lot of sweat it prevents you from very slippery or slip away from the bar and so on probably this chalk might do you some good right so uh, and also teach you how to train your grip so to speak okay so uh, this personally I, I use this for my deadlifts uh, reason being because in future if I were to have a join a deadlift uh, sort of event or competition I am not allowed to use strap in some cases then probably I need to train my grip so how do I train my grip without slipping well this chalk do it so good so a lot of people think chalk is actually like uh, somewhere they see uh, like looks so familiar yeah you're right uh, on the paper lifters they use the chalk uh, and or even sometimes uh, rock rock climbers you know they also use chalk and uh, some uh, extra activities like a tuck a wall and all those things they also use chalk so chalk is uh, actually no stranger it's just that lately it's sort of popularized around in the gym all right um, that's all all right so uh, in a nutshell once again just share with you these are the items that i me personally use it in my gym training so that's why when people say wow uh, which one is your gym shoe uh, i have to ask them depending on which occasion so again these are just my kind of thing and uh, personally i use it to improve my lifts so if you're new or beginner personally i think you have a lot of potential you do not need all these things but if you have been training for one year or even two years and you find that you know sometimes grip is your issue or you just want to increase a little bit extra age of your strength probably those kind of tools is going to help you these tools again is not to replace your form it's not to replace your strength in other words uh don't think that oh i wear a belt so my back rounded is okay it's gonna save my back no yeah if you need the belt to save your back uh, chances are it's your form you might want to check your form and not because you need the belt uh, to prevent injury if you wear the belt with the intention that it might improve your lift a little bit by five or ten percent or at most twenty percent then yes i am all for it but if you're wearing buying this because you want to look cool or you look at once or even worse you're doing for all the wrong reasons uh, neglecting your form then probably that's not going to do you any good all right so uh i hope this helps you someone out there if you have any questions feel free to comment below and uh, i'll catch you next time so till then stay strong and stay more fit bye bye